This video explains how to upload data using a Cloudinary API with Vue.js. Using the methods presented in this video, you can control the upload of files to the Cloudinary cloud without a server using familiar front-end HTTP clients. You should have experience setting up the Vue.js Hello World component and familiarity with coding templates and scripts. Besides Vue, this script has only two dependencies that are both available on npmjs.org. The Axios library, which is a promise-based client for HTTP requests, and the Vue progress bar, which produces an SVG vector-based progress bar. You should also register for an account on Cloudinary where you will create a cloud name and create an unsigned preset in the web UI settings. We'll use cloud name and unsigned preset as credentials for performing an upload to the cloud. Cloudinary provides robust security and signed presets, which rely on API key and API secret, but we don't want to expose those in this front-end application. You'll see links that copy the key and secret to the clipboard in order to reduce such exposure. API secret should be used only when it can be hidden behind a server. The unsigned preset provides a way to limit access to those users who should have the ability to upload to the cloud. There are many options available that can be added to the post when using an unsigned preset, but you cannot use the full set of options available to a signed preset. Before looking at the code, we can demo the file upload using a Vue.js app. The user must supply credentials in the form of a cloud name and a preset. Next, the user can select a file from their local file system. Once the file is selected, the user can upload the file to Cloudinary and monitor the upload with a status bar. Finally, once the upload is complete, the user can view the uploaded file on the web page. We can use a Cloudinary API endpoint in a Vue.js app to upload files to Cloudinary. In this video, we'll upload images, but we can use the same endpoint to upload video and raw files. In keeping with the component-based paradigm supported by Vue.js and other frameworks, we'll create a Cloudinary Upload component. We can now use this component wherever it is needed in this app by importing it and then using a semantic tag in the template. Let's start with the form in our Vue.js template. We prevent submit of our form to a server because this is a single page app and we don't want a page refresh. Instead, we instruct Vue.js to execute the upload method when the user triggers submit. Also, we control the posting of the file to Cloudinary from the browser. This means we don't need to encode the file input as multi-part form. Our user selects an image from their local file system using the standard HTML input type equals file. Next, we get the name of the file from the event triggered by the user selection. With the file name, we use the Web File Reader API to read the contents of the file as a Base64 encoded string. In preparation for posting the image to the cloud, we package up a Cloudinary preset, the file contents, and any API options in a JavaScript form data object. We complete the endpoint by adding the cloud name created at registration and found in the Web UI console dashboard. We're using the Axios library to post the data to the endpoint, so we'll create a request object that contains the form data, the URL, and the method, which is a post. We also include a function callback that receives upload information from Cloudinary and enables us to show progress to the user. When the upload has successfully completed, we can get a secure URL from the response, which is used to render the uploaded image back to our user's web page. Once you've completed an upload, you can go to the media library in the web UI. My preset specified that all images be loaded into the view upload folder. Notice my preset also allows for multiple copies of the image and Cloudinary assigns them unique public IDs. Now I can work on my image transformations. I guess you can tell I like Mount Rainier. If you want a challenge, upload a video or RAW file by removing the accept attribute in the file input tag. 
and adding a resource type equal to auto in the form data. You can find more information related to this tutorial online. Look for the code repository and a link to a live demo on github.com. Find out more about how to create and use presets online in our documentation and support articles. If you have questions, our support team can help you out.